Hi, Martin here. Welcome to part two of the LS throttle body conversion onto a 4.7 liter Dodge Jeep or Chrysler. Now in part one, we installed the throttle body. Everything worked out great. Other than I hit a, got a code, a P0123, which is a high voltage on the throttle position sensor. Now I have the GM TPS on there and it operates at a different ohm reading. So the computer sees a high voltage at about three quarters to a full throttle and throws a code. So what I got to do is take the Chrysler one and adapt it onto the LS throttle body. And I just got to make an adapter plate and do that. And I'm going to show you how that's done. Right, let's get started. Now just trim off this edge here. All right, now with that piece all trimmed up, quarter inch hole drilled through here. I took a GM throttle position sensor and you got that little dimple in there. Now place a quarter inch drill bit in there, drill a hole through it. Or not until you remove all the insides, the back side of the of this, pop that out of there. And you're going to take a Dremel tool. What I did is I took one with a cutting head on there like that and cut all the excess plastic out of here. And that way you can place a quarter inch, after you drill a hole through the throttle position sensor, place a quarter inch bolt through there with a nut and a washer. Tighten that up. Take this, like so. Place a quarter inch nut on there, snug it up. And this gives us our locations of the two holes we need to drill. Now using a number eight drill bit, it fits really nice in this hole here. Do not drill all the way through. I just want to make a nice center spot for where the number 21 drill bit is going to fit in there really nice. It'll self-center in this hole. Now drill a hole clear through. Now using a quarter inch drill bit, and this is where you want to be real careful. You want to want to drill just far enough so the head of this Allen is countersunk into the aluminum right here. So you definitely do not want to go clear through this. that really close really close in the first shot there mm, I hear a bit more on that that might be That one 
it's probably definitely good. There we go. Oh yeah. So when you place the bolt in here, you can see that it is definitely countersunk into the aluminum. We don't want it any. We don't want it to be poking above the aluminum. We want it definitely down flush or further down in there. Okay. Yeah, that one looks really good. Okay. Next, we drill out the center hole here. Now, if you don't have the right size drill bit to drill it out, because we've got to drill it out to the size, at least to the diameter of this right here. And use a, a uni bit or a stepper bit. Three quarters of an inch. Okay, it's got a nice snug fit. Now, it wouldn't matter if this hole was a little bit larger. It's not a big deal. Nice machine, snug fit. That's kind of cool, though. All right, we've got our throttle body set up here. This isn't the actual one that I have in my uh, Jeep right now. But since I came across this problem, I got this other throttle body here. These are M5 Allen screws. I used a very short, I think they're like an eight millimeter long bolt. You could use longer ones than that. There's enough room in here. Okay, got that snugged into place. This shaft, I've already altered it from what it was originally. It had the uh, Kind of a half moon shape to it originally right up here this whole section up here so what I did is I filed it down and then I filed a little bit on this side too because I wanted to get it down to the very similar thickness as the original Chrysler throttle body so if you look at this one here you see that there that's what we're after is that right there we want it to look a lot like that so as you can see I've got it pretty much like that I did like I said file a little bit on this side but of course you're gonna file a lot on this side and it's not too hard it's not like a really super hard material a hand file will do, or you could use like a Dremel with a stone. So now I'm just checking for fit. At this point, now that I know that this does work, it fits. And if you look back here, at the throttle linkage, if I'm turning this you see how it's turning that down there as well so I know that that shaft is up in here just fine and it's doing what it's supposed to do so now I need to modify the shaft on my throttle body I got on the Jeep just like this one this piece will bolt on there oh one more thing we got to cut the back side of this down flush because the throttle body spacer will hit that so it looks like that right there we we'll take off that type of material there
like they say, it's always something. And that is definitely the case with me with this throttle body. Well, anyway, I was using this throttle body as a mock-up to make this piece. Go to bolt it on, and look. These two screws here, you see how they're clocked different? Well, <clears throat> that changed the position of this flat spot that I had made, where I wanted it down here. Now, fortunately, it doesn't, it's not going to make a difference. I won't have to, like, make a new one or anything like that. This will still work. It just changes the position of where the throttle position sensor would sit. So it's going to be more like, probably something like that. No big deal. And this one also has a different clocking. The same goes with the shaft itself. It goes this way instead of this way. It's just the uh, GM th uh, TPS would have worked on both of them. I mean, the, they are, their model number is the same. It's just the way they manufactured this uh, throttle body that changed it. No big deal. So I'll, I'll go ahead and file this down, make this flat, get this throttle body back on the vehicle, get this where I need it to be, and uh, what I have to do is um, <clears throat> put a multimeter on here with it all hooked up to the ign you know, the ignition and everything and dial this in correctly. Get this right to the right voltage, mark the holes, drill them, and then tap them. All right. Okay, I got the throttle position sensor you know wired back in again now with the back to the factory connector now I also soldered in a couple pigtails one off of the ground wire one off the signal wire and that's generally your orange with a blue or a like a green stripe it actually might even have an orange stripe or a red stripe on it definitely not the solid orange that is always your uh, five volt reference wire there. Okay, and then I placed, I uh, put a couple of those blue splices, those crimp on splices on there, and then placed a piece of orange, or if you can find a red piece of heat shrink to place over that. That way, you know that's your positive. And I put a piece of black over that one. And when you shrink it down, your probes go in there, and that piece of heat shrink right on the very end helps hold those probes in there. Then I got my multimeter on here, and I got it turned on, got the ignition switch on, engine not running, here we are here, place that on there. Now, as you're turning this, see, you can see the voltage starting to come up. And right back, let's move it back about. There, that would have been stock. And I'm going to shoot for... Right there. That, That's perfect. Okay, now, while holding this in here, I'm going to take a, just a drill bit that fits perfectly in this hole. Spinning it. And then move it down to this one. And that's making that little mark on that aluminum. And we're going to use bolts that are actually smaller in size than the hole. That way we got a little wiggle room on this. I know you saw the voltage coming off. That's just the connection here. Not a big deal. Alright, so now, pan over here. There you go. You see the small little mark there and there. Now I know where to drill. And we'll tap those holes. 
I went ahead and uh, removed the piece and uh, I mean it's best once you got them marked these two holes remove it drill it out and then I tapped it using an M4 tap went ahead and threw a little bit of a polish on it I just want to put a thin layer of silicone on there I just don't want any other moisture getting back behind there I'm going to get that just loose enough to where I can rotate it and then get that uh, voltage set. Okay, you can see we're at like 0.67. I'm going to shoot for 0.76. Ooh. There we have it, 0.76. Get a close up of how that kind of turns out. Looks pretty sharp. Well, there you have it. That definitely fixed it. I got no engine codes coming up. The thing runs so damn good now. I mean, I am so impressed. Hands down, the best mod I've ever done to this 4.7. Combination of that 08 intake and that 75 millimeter throttle body woke this thing right up. I mean, it, it doesn't sound like the same motor at all. I love this thing, man. I can't wait to do just a couple more mods and uh, go have it tuned. And, oh, love it. <laughs> All right. Well, hope you enjoyed that. And if you haven't subscribed to me before, if you would, hit that subscribe button right down there and the bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications of any upcoming videos as I get them posted. All right. Thanks again.